Hey, it's John and Mike, Brew-Dudes.com, and this is another addition to the Smash series. This is when I make one gallon batches uh, of beer with uh, one uh, malt and one hop. And it's one gallon size, and we only, uh, we use uh, one type of yeast, which is uh, the Dry US 05. Um, to uh, brew up all these beers. Uh, if you want to know more about the process, we have a whole playlist about our smash beers, and I also have a bunch of posts on our blog, brew-dudes.com. So a couple of um, stories about this hop variety, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. This is from Yakima Valley Hops. It's a 2023 crop. And uh, actually, this was uh, brought to our attention back in late November of last year from a, a viewer, uh, first name Kyler. He lives in Nova Scotia and he wanted to send us some Sasquatch hops. Canada's only hop. Oh. He yes, he talks about it. Go Canada. So he was uh, not too far from us. Uh, we, were, we live in the world and he was gonna send that to us, but I beat him to the punch because I saw that uh, this was a variety that was on uh, Yakima Valley site. So I thought, well, why don't we uh, take a look at that? And I'll just buy a one ounce, uh, sorry, a two ounce pouch and use one ounce in this one gallon batch of beer. So again, this is a Canada's only hop. I think that this was um, brought to market. It's a wild hop variety that was discovered in the mountain region of British Columbia. It is grown exclusively by Yakima Valley's sister company, Hops Connect, at two farms. And uh, I will stop there because it starts getting to the descriptor of the okay. hops. And I okay. want you to give me what you think about Sasquatch hops. Um, interesting on the first couple wafts of aroma. Yeah. Um, I was actually getting like a, like a ginger, almost like a candy ginger, not like a crystallized ginger, crystallized ginger. There's a hint of something almost cream-like, vanilla-like in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, and this is something we haven't talked about, but all these beers have been made with the same base malt for the most part, and it's just a single base malt. And I'm only now, because of this hop, <laughs> beginning to actually appreciate how these hops are actually playing with the malt flavor a little bit, because I get a distinct, mm like almost uh, Cheerios-like quality in the flavor, which has got to be coming from the malt, but it's not But it's not always there depending on the hop variety. So just, we'll just hold on to that one for another day, but. It's just raw Arturo mm. pale malt. Um, <laughs> but maybe I'm just getting a little bit confused with that, that vanilla-esque ginger-like thing. Um, it's, it's a little bit like herbal, like dried, like, um, it's a little bit floral, like dried, almost um, herbal flowers is what I'm thinking. You know, it's just sort of like herbal a... Herbal tea-like Yeah, like, well, more like, um, like, like, like thymey, hey. like that type of herb. Like you know it? What I'm I getting? like it, yep. yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not getting... What I'm not getting is fruit. I'm not getting citrus. I'm not getting a lot of other things. I could be convinced there's a little bit of a very dull white grape in there somewhere. Okay. Right, or maybe even a. If you've ever had a white raspberry, <laughs> pushing it just for the sake of the video. But it, but um, anyway, it's not super fruity. All right, uh, I'm digging, but um, but I'll stick with the ginger thing and that vanilla e s creamy thing. All right, I think you're hitting on some of these commercial descriptors, man. I like um, it. I like it. I like it too. I am getting a little bit of. Um, I'm definitely getting cream. And subtle hints of a little bit of citrus, but it's not over. Yeah. It's like it's no, no. hints. It's like it's hints. hard. It's like it's a it's whisper. It's toying with a few different <laughs> neurons in there. Yep. So the flavor key uh, for from Yakima Valley: floral, citrus, green grassy, cream caramel. Grassy, grassy is probably that herbally. Yep. Thing. Yeah. I and think the that's cream what caramel. caramel. Yeah. Ah. So in the aroma... Don't in, deny yourself what you're tasting. In the hops brewing values, yep. the aroma, they, they knock on apple blossom, which I think is distinct, but let's get that sweet. You it know. could be that little bit of that grapey <clears throat> thing I'm trying to pick out. Yep. Yeah. Orange cream hay. Yeah, 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 hay, grass, that herbal thing. Yep. yep. A little earthy almost. 
So they, on the site, they give the alpha acid range from seven to eight percent. This came in at six point two on the on the packet. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that uh, makes it. Did. I think that some of the things else I was reading around the web is that um, these hops are nice. They're not overwhelming. It's kind of like they're just, you know, uh, providing some light flavor and not a lot of strong. I flavor. would almost actually say that. This as a as a smash beer, I could almost just get behind drinking this the way it is, mm. because it's just so. It's just a, different enough that it, it's interesting. Yeah, um, this might be really funky in some sort of like, uh, Belgian wit yeast, right? Maybe play up a little bit of a, you know, some pilsner and some oats, a good amount of this hop. And then that wit beer yeast. So wit beer yeast isn't phenolic like that. But it's oh. just it br brings a little bit of herbalness, spiciness to yeah. the party. This might make a really interesting white ale. You yeah. know, uh, you could an American wit beer, if you will, oh, sorry, Canadian wit beer. Hey, hey, there you say, go. Yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. So um, <laughs> just something like that. No, yeah. I think that would be. Yeah. I might have to think about that one. Yeah, yeah. Sasquatch hops. Mm -hmm. um, I love the cream. Uh, aspects yeah. of it, I think yeah. that that is, uh, I think that's to me the biggest differentiator of it. And uh, I'm trying to figure out what else it would work with. But I mean, like, what about like a wheat maybe, beer? Yeah, wheat beer, but playing it up in like a vanilla porter, maybe. Oh, okay. Right. I mean, yeah. get a little bit from the hops and legit like age on some vanilla some beans, bean too. Yeah. But you might just get a really interesting balance. Yeah. There. Now you're thinking. Yeah. Look at you. I try. Look at you. Um, yeah, because I think that would be. They would work with more of a like a roasty malty Nobody beer. Nobody don't like too. these these ones where it's just a little. But for some reason, there's something oh, about look this at one you. that's nice. Like you know, you're like making the love connection yes, with the Sasquatch. Sasquatch. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe you cut from the same cloth or something. Yep. All right. Well, that is our review of the 2023 crop, or at least this packet from Sasquatch Hops, Canada's only hop, uh, according to one of our viewers. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Give us a thumbs up if you have. If you would like to subscribe to our channel, we definitely would invite you to do that. We do this kind of thing every single week. For John and Mike, brew-dudes.com. Brew on. Cheers.